Hey cute patooties and welcome back. Y'all we are jumping straight into this video today because it is my official first collab with my nail sister Leslie from Hillbilly's Creativity. So I did this little custom mix with some brown orchid from the set gel nails and some mica powder and some fine glitters from Walmart. And I came up with this beautiful shimmer color. So that's what we're gonna be using in this set today. This is gonna be a hybrid set. We're gonna do some gel, we're gonna do some acrylic. It's all about pink, it's all about fall, and I am here for it. I'm going to mention right up front that this video is going to be a giveaway video, so please stick around so you can find out exactly how to enter into the giveaway, what all the rules are going to be, and just to see me create this beautiful set, right? <laughs> So cuties, I wanted to do the infamous liquid nails, slow globe nails, you know, aquarium nails, whatever you wanna call it. I wanted to do those and they didn't turn out so good, but you know, you learn things when you try things and it doesn't work out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work on this nail. This is the nail that's gonna be the liquid nails. I'm just adding my slip layer first and now I'm just gonna go ahead and add color to the rest of the nails i'm not building it up at all with this product i'm gonna leave that for when i cap it in clear so i'm just gonna go ahead and take my time i'm leaving a lot in these videos for you guys lately so y'all can see everything that i'm doing i know there's a lot of people on here who's learning just like i am who's having some interest in builder gels and acrylics, just like me. And so I figured, let me just share everything, leaving all of my mistakes, everything in there so you guys can know what not to do. This is a way, but it's not the way. So you can learn something from me, I could learn something from you. So I'm just basically going to go ahead and build up this nail with this color just build up the color on this nail and then i'm going to cure it for 60 seconds because it was super cold in my room this gel was thicker than normal which is fine i like it like this i can work with it runny i can work with it pretty you know thick consistency it, it really doesn't matter to me i can work with either one i just know how fast or how slow and how much time i have so with it being on a thicker side today i was able to do this and just get a base color down on the pinky because the rest of the nails are gonna all be ombre so let's just get this part done and we'll be back So while I'm working on this pinky cuties, it's giving that first um, nail some time to self level and just kind of even out just a bit. And you guys can see the beautiful shimmer that's coming through from my little mixture that I created. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get a little bit of color down on the pinky and then we're gonna go ahead and cure it because I was liking how that nail was looking at that point. Um, and then we're gonna like pretty much basically jump straight into some acrylic. So cutie patooties, we're gonna talk about this giveaway right now. So it's gonna be a mystery gift that you guys will get 
from myself and Leslie from Hillbilly's Creations. I have put her link to her channel in the description below. I've also put the link to her video in the description below. So make sure as soon as you guys are done watching this video, go ahead, head on over to her channel, check it out, see what she created for our pink fall collab. Also, we both are working on our watch hours, so please, if you're new and you're gonna subscribe, just give it a few minutes watching the video before you hit subscribe, so that way we can get <laughs> we can get calculated, you know, points for you guys watching and subscribing to the channel, so YouTube doesn't trash your subscription. And make sure you turn on your notification bell. So that way you never miss any uploads from us and please hit the like button if you like this video and leave some comments in the comment box so that way we can chit chat with you guys. So again, this is going to be a duo mystery gift giveaway from myself and Leslie. And now we're gonna just jump right into doing some acrylic. Now, I would say that this acrylic feels very grainy um, because it's so packed with glitters. And I'm using my Nails by Naya size 10 brush in order to go ahead and apply these acrylic. And I'm just gonna go ahead and ombre it up the nail. I wanted more of the glitter than the nude color. So I just had to kind of figure out how to work with this. I couldn't go too wet and I couldn't go too dry. Um, I really kind of did not find the happy medium with this because glitter was consistently getting all over my brush. It acted more like it was a loose glitter but it is what it is. It's from Double Dip, I still like it. I mean, it's supposed to be for dipping, but I'm using it as an acrylic and it worked just fine. Um, but it's chuck full of glitters, really chuck full of glitters, and I love that. You get that pigmentation that you're looking for. So yes, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my time, let you guys watch how I apply this as an acrylic, which I do believe Double Dip um, powders is supposed to double up as an acrylic and a dip system but if I'm wrong please forgive me I'm just going off the top of my head right now because you guys I have surgery tomorrow and I'm gonna be well not tomorrow today is actually Wednesday my surgery is Thursday you guys won't be seeing this until Friday so hopefully all is well but I will pop in the community tab to let you guys know how everything is going but I'm just basically trying to get things organized around the house before I go under the knife tomorrow but yeah I'm gonna let y'all watch and then we will talk some more about the giveaway in just a few The ombre with this color, this glitter mix was not bad at all. It really wasn't that bad. I do, I do like it. I'm happy with the turnout. But again, this giveaway is gonna be a mystery giveaway from myself and Leslie. Um, in order to enter into the giveaway, cutie patooties, first thing you have to do is be publicly subscribed to myself, and Leslie's channel so I will leave her information in the description box so you guys can head on over check out her channel if you like what you see please do subscribe if you don't it's okay we'll still love y'all <laughs> regardless 
Make sure the same for my channel as well. If you like what you see, subscribe. If not, it is all good, cuties. We're just here loving doing what we do and sharing our content with you guys. But you must be publicly subscribed to both of our channels because we will be checking. Now, a little bit later on, I'm gonna give you the second requirement to enter into this giveaway. So just continue to sit back and enjoy my acrylic application and how beautiful that glitter makes in that builder gel looks and y'all will get more info in a bit Now that that's all done, this is what the nails are looking like. I'm going to go ahead and take my Nail by Nikki acrylic. And I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly clear cap all of these nails before I get into filing, shaping, and buffing. So cutie patooties, I know y'all wanna know what that second requirement is, but not yet. We just have to leave a little suspense out there, right? And besides, I wanna want y'all to watch the full video, right? Like I put in all this work, I want y'all to see how things look. So with that being said, whenever you're clear capping the glitters, they're gonna turn matte-ish. If you guys can see what I mean, like look at both nails compared to each other. It kind of like mats over a bit. So I'm just basically taking my time using as many beads as I need to and just being careful to drain out a lot of that liquid from my brush when it comes to the cuticle area. And I'm just going ahead and just making sure the entire nail is covered from the cuticle to the free edge with the clear acrylic to just cap everything in and making sure that I'm really capping that ombre area so that way I don't lose my little glitter fade that I did, which like I could have done better on that part, you guys. Hindsight looking at it, I could have done better, but I'm proud with what I did. I, I'm liking it so far. I think I did pretty good, but you know, you gotta live and learn. So experience will let me know to kind of go down just a little bit further with the base color. And so I can have more of a area to fade the glitter up. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and clear cap these nails and then I'm gonna let y'all get into enjoying some on-camera filing and shaping of these nails.
I have to say cuties, I'm really, really enjoying working with acrylic now that I'm getting more comfortable. This is what everything looks like after they've dried and even though it cures with a sticky layer and there really isn't anything that any acetone, alcohol, or swipe can do, I still wipe them off before I go into my filing and shaping routine. I know that this um, file is going to be done after this, but what I can say since I've been practicing with um, the odorless monomers and um, you know filing them after doing a set my I'm getting better with my liquid to powder ratio because the amount of stickiness tackiness gumminess whatever you want to call it that's on the surface of the nails after they've cured it's not there anymore and the Koopa odorless monomer is what I used again um, in today's video I did not use the Melody Suzy UV Fusion one um, because I was still pretty much testing out the Koopa and I've noticed a great difference from when I first started using it to today that that layer of tackiness is much thinner and you know I figured once I kind of get my routine down that I would have gotten to this point that I'm actually figuring it out how to use the system and I'm loving that. So it was not that hard to break through that tacky layer to get to, you know, a nice filing surface. So I'm just busting open a package that I just got in the mail. I ordered um, some things from Lissette's Gel Nails. We're gonna start working on this liquid nails cuties. So the second thing you have to do in order to enter the giveaway is to follow both of us on Instagram because that is how we're gonna be reaching out to let you know if you have won. So we'll be communicating with each other throughout the process. The giveaway is gonna run until the 1st of December. Um, if there's any changes to that, I believe it's the 1st of December. If there's any changes to it, it will be in the description box. So all of the rules, everything you need to know about the giveaway is gonna be in the description box below. All I'm doing here, cuties, is applying that non-sticky <laughs> bling it gel so it cures with a non-sticky surface. I'm applying that to the nails and I'm gonna go ahead and add that full cover tip to this nail because this one's gonna be the liquid nail. And all of this is how I messed up cuties. I'm leaving it all in for you guys to see. So pretty much this finger size is a, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a size six. And I wasn't paying attention and I pulled out a size six full cover tip which left me no room <laughs> to do the liquid nails at all. I did all of this cuties. I cured it onto that nail, but thankfully it was easy for me to just use um, a cuticle pusher and get under into that the smallest space that was left for me to be able to um, just pop this off of the nail. So <laughs> with that being said, this is great doing it this way, but one thing I would likely do is possibly cap it with clear acrylic or at least cap the sides and around it so it doesn't break and you don't get this oil or whatever liquid is in there all over yourself you know i would i would probably cap this all in clear seeing that it was so easy for me to pop it off of the the nail so here's me fixing my mistake and you guys see that quick jump so pretty much i used a smaller tip size i went down to a size seven and that worked really good it gave me enough room to be able to slide my fall leaf glitters leaf 
leaf leaves leaf glitters into this nail but the thing is cuties these were so like they're so light that i don't feel like the oil i'm gonna put some coconut oil in here was moving it around i don't think it was a matter of how many pieces of glitter i put in there i would i just think it's because it's so light i feel like if the the glitters were more heavier well not more heavier if they were heavier that they would float around just fine in the oil so it kind of worked a little bit but it didn't work so i'm just gonna leave it all in there for you guys to see learning experience next time maybe something else will work next time i don't know y'all but i feel like if they were a little bit heavier then they probably would have floated much more nicer so i'm just gonna go ahead put those in here use my little dropper tool and start slowly adding the coconut oil into the nails and get it all nice and filled up once that's done we're gonna come back with how we're gonna seal this nail off So in order to seal the nail off, I'm going to take the same bling it gel and I'm just going to make a nice little rectangle shape on here and I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. And then once that comes out of the lamp, I'm going to add some more to it. Then I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the nail and cure that on. I'm going to go ahead and remove any of the excess and just go ahead and buff that out, shape it all nice back into the shape of the nail. and then we'll be done with the liquid nail and i'll kind of show you guys that where you'll see that it moved a little bit but that was pretty much it it really wasn't moving after that so i may try it again i may not i don't know but we'll see <laughs> we'll see cuties but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to the nail and we'll be back Okay, cutie patooties, do not forget that this is a giveaway video. If you would love to be entered, please, 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 if you forgot anything that I said in the beginning, make sure you head down to the description box so you can get all of the rules on how to enter. If anything changes or needs to be updated, um, versus what i said throughout this video it will be in the description box also so you guys have everything and every opportunity to enter for a chance to win a mystery gift from myself and leslie and cutie patooties be sure to go ahead and comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this set let me know what y'all think about my application give me any tips and tricks that you guys may have last video well not last video a couple videos ago one of you cuties told me to add acetone to the odorless monomer and it works wonders i love how much faster it sets with that and you guys can see here i'm using my air c drill i didn't use it in the last video but i did have to bust it out this time i really wanted to see how it would operate i love how super quiet it is i just i just adore this little drill i did put it back in the box after this though so y'all may or may not see it again but i'm gonna show y'all in a second how little <laughs> this thing moves like i was not really disappointed in it but i was kind of sad that it wasn't moving as much but it is what it is y'all so after sealing that up and getting everything all nice in there you can see it's moving some i was tapping that thing so hard y'all it moves some and some of the glitters like move down but not as much and i really think that these glitters complemented the glitter ombre nails you guys can see it moving just a little bit <laughs> just a little bit but i'll try it again i'll try it again now it's time for some top coat i'm using gloss it from not polish i'm gonna get these all nice and covered and cured in the lamp for 60 seconds 
please cuties don't forget to join into this giveaway you don't know what you're gonna get but i'm pretty sure that you will like it this is my first collab with leslie please be sure to check out her channel cutie patooties and i'll be back when it's time to show you guys the finished look of these nails And there we have it cuties, very simple, very pretty, beautiful pink fall nails. So cutie patooties, if you guys are looking for any codes or links, please be sure to check the description box. Also check out the community tab for any sales that's going on for Black Friday from any of my affiliate links. I hope you guys love how this looks. I'm going to go ahead and switch the lighting in a little bit so you guys can see how it looks in less light. <laughs> and as always, cutie patooties, I'll most definitely talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!